I woke up to have some yogurt and granola and then I got back in bed I have been really nauseous and really tired and just not feeling like myself at all today my chest kind of hurts my back hurts um, but yeah I just have a lot of nausea and um, I know this is gonna be TMI for some of you people, but I know that a lot of people are going to be watching these because they want to see what the symptoms are like leading up to labor. And so I know that for me, I've been trying to find different vlogs that talk about the symptoms that lead up to labor and what women feel like the week before labor and the days leading up to labor. And so I'm going to be incorporating a lot of my symptoms and how I'm feeling into these vlogs leading up to the big day because I think that that'll be helpful for women who really want to know. So besides this like I have like a pain in my stomach now and just the nausea um, besides that I have diarrhea as well. Sorry I know it's gross but I'm gonna lay here for a while um, just as long as it takes to Feel good enough to get up because this nausea is really gross. Now I'm having a toasted PBJ on potato bread with my Smucker's fruit and honey strawberry jelly and this Justin's organic peanut butter. Delicious snack. I'm feeling a little bit better now, thankfully. How comfortable does this one look? <laughs> Just chilling. Is that the life, huh? Okay, I finally feel good enough to like move around. I got back up, had the sandwich that I showed you guys. I actually had some hummus with, I know this is so random, like I'm still hungry. Even though I'm nauseous, I'm still hungry. Which doesn't make any sense, but it's been like this for the past couple weeks. Like I'll be really nauseous, and then right when it goes away, I'll be really hungry. It's just so strange. Anyway, I had hummus with carrots dipped in it and some of my diet lemonade because I have those gallon jugs from Chick-fil-A and I had some of that and then I took a bath because for some reason it just sounded amazing so I took a bath and then I jumped in the shower to rinse all the bubbles off and now I'm going the reason I'm not doing my makeup and hair or anything is I'm about to go get a spray tan but first I'm going to get my nails and toenails done they can't really go any longer they're starting to look really bad okay i'm not leaving the house because right after i stopped filming that segment i started getting serious like pains in my stomach like really low and i have like a sneaking suspicion that this might be the start of some real contractions i don't know i don't want to get my hopes up because i get so excited you know and then they go away so i'm just like Please let this be it. <laughs> it's 2.30, I'm feeling a lot better now. Um, the cramps are gone, which is good, but also I'm sad. But anyway, I'm about to go run the errands that I was talking about earlier, and I'm frustrated right now because I went upstairs to look and see like if the GoPro was charged because I'll show you. We got this GoPro yesterday and then this battery backpack for it for the hospital, and Nick's gonna wear it. Um, he has a head strap for it that he's gonna wear during labor and delivery. So it's like super important, right? Because I could go into labor at any time. Well, I go upstairs and it's completely unplugged from the wall and it's not even done charging and Nick just unplugged it. So everything annoys me like times 10. Like I get so much more annoyed about things than I normally would. And so that like really annoys me because if he knows that I could go into labor at any minute and he just unplugged the GoPro from the wall last night, just like, what like 
you need to charge that like I guess my brain thinks this way because I've been doing these videos for a while now and I know like having your battery charge is pretty important and so I, I should probably be easier on him but like come on why would you unplug it and not check and see if it was charged because knowing Nick like we would have gotten to me going into labor and we would have had a GoPro that wasn't charged and we would have spent all this time and money getting a GoPro that would be dead during labor and delivery. Too dutchy. Okay, I am at my favorite. It's not really a restaurant. It's more like a semi-fast food place. Masala Walk. It's an Indian and Asian fusion restaurant. It's amazing. Absolutely the best. If you have a Masala Walk near you and you haven't tried it, you need to go try it ASAP. Anyway, a few things have happened in the past couple of hours. I went to my PO box to pick up a, a couple packages. I got a Starbucks latte. I went and got my nails done. They're glittery pink. Yes, I know that's very outdated, but I'm obsessed with them. I think they're so cute. I love glitter nails for some reason. So I cut off the like pointy tips just because Skyla's coming. I just wanted like a more like shorter, rounded version of my nails. This is my last mani Petty before she's here and they massaged the crap out of my feet I told them that I wanted to go into labor and to massage away and she gave me like the hardest massage I've ever had there so maybe that'll do something then I noticed that I haven't really felt her move in hours like she has not Skyla has not been moving for hours and I've been prodding her and poking her couldn't get her to move couldn't get her to move called the doctor couldn't get a hold of the doctor thought about going to labor and delivery to just have her monitored and then I was like you know what I'm gonna go home and just get my fetal Doppler and check her heart rate checked her heart rate her heart rate is perfect and then she started moving again so I feel a lot better about that then I decided to come to Masala Walk, which is where I am right now, to get some Indian food before I head over to get a spray tan. And then I need to go to Target to do a return and pick up a couple things that I need and drop off our comforter at the dry cleaner. And I need to return some stuff at Hobby Lobby. I also wanted to go register at the hospital today because I've registered online, but you need to go in and sign paperwork. I haven't done that yet. I need to get on that. But they're closed now so I'm gonna have to do that tomorrow so I'm trying to get these errands all in just in case if she's gonna be coming soon I can just have all this stuff off my plate but now I'm gonna get the spiciest plate that they have at Masala Walk here's to hoping that it'll do something Okay, change of plans because I was out of credits at Dark Tan and I didn't want to renew since Skyla's coming so soon. So I got this. I got the Saint Tropez Self Tan and this is the Bronzing Mousse. And I got the dark one. They have like a regular color but um, I always get the darkest one they have. Then I got a face tanning, like three face tanning mitts and a body tanning mitt. So I'm going to apply this right now. Oh, and I... I picked this up because I love poo-pourri. If you guys don't know what it is, you spray the toilet bowl before you go poo-poo. <laughs> and um, basically like no one can tell that you were even in the bathroom. Like it smells amazing and I love this stuff. So I got it in the travel size. I didn't even know they had travel size, but we use it in our house. Okay, so I'm going to put this on right now. I'm kind of like, I'm, I haven't used this one before, so I don't know. I'm really hoping that it's gonna do what I want it to do. My feet are still so swollen. This is going on pretty nice though with this mitt. We'll see. <laughs> what do you think, Duchess? Is this weird? <laughs> is this weird? <laughs> Look at her face. She's so concerned. It's just a stainless tan, Duchy. I put on you. Just make sure my back is covered. I just got back from working out, so I'm having him finish my back for me. Is your butt done too? Isn't it done? Just make sure it's even back there. He just got back from a run. That's why he's breathing hard. Don't get any ideas, guys. Do you want to be next, honey? Nope. 
I'm all natural. <laughs> Look how black that applicator mitt is. So did you go running with daddy? You go running with daddy? Yeah, you're so fit. You're so lean and trim. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna try and do this on my face. This is interesting. Click at poo on my face. Oh, this is very attractive. Ow. We won't technically know how this turns out until after I shower. I have not used this brand. Okay, I've used this brand before. I used this spray thing only one time. My friend Gina Marie gave me a spray tan with this. Um, but I've never done a the mousse and I've never used these applicator mitts before. And so, I don't know if that makes a difference. The spray, I didn't feel like I got super tan from the spray. So I'm hoping this makes me super tan. I want to be tan in the delivery room. Because my thighs are massive right now. And they're going to be all above my head and just out there for everyone, for the world to see. So I'd like my thighs to be tan for delivery. I don't care if that's vain or not. Okay. I guess we'll see tomorrow. Don't forget I'm vlogging tomorrow so I'll be able to let you guys know how I like everything. I still love Loving Tan. I just You have to order that online and I needed it tonight and I'm out of Loving Tan. So that's why I stopped and got this because it's rated number one right now. This is apparently the best self tanner on the market. So let's see if it's true. My initial reactions to it is that it's very sticky. I don't like how sticky it is. It barely smells like anything, but we won't know like how bad the stench is until tomorrow, honestly, because it makes your sweat smell weird. Um, well, all self tanners do. I don't know about this one yet, so I'll know tomorrow about the stench level, but the stickiness level, I'm not a fan of. You look exhausted. <laughs> Did daddy take you on a sprint? Look at you. That's how you keep your girlish figure, though, isn't it? <laughs> Let's spy on Nick. Are you entertaining yourself? <laughs> like, how do you, like, have the motivation to do that with no music? My own gaps. <laughs> Zell, you are so... <laughs> you just moved in here to lay on the floor, too. He must have really kicked your butt. I haven't seen you like this in a long time. Mm, I don't know about that. That's why our tears are ruined, because you do this, huh? <sighs> There's no stopping you now. So I went to the P.O. Box today. I had two packages. This one is from mommymailbox.com. Let's see what this is. Hmm, it looks like it's like a little pregnancy box. Or I mean a mommy, I guess a mommy box. Stiff just goodies. Koozies, cute. What's this? Quinoa chocolate chip cookies. Those are rose gold. Cute little earrings, those are cool. Vine. Street market bag. What's in here? So earlier today, I noticed that Skylar really was not moving today. Barely out, like, I mean, barely any movement. I can feel her do like really slight, slight movements, but it's just nothing compared to how it normally is. I've drank sugar and laid down. Um, I, like I said earlier, I did listen to her on the fetal Doppler and her heart rate sounded okay, but there's just not much movement. And the later it gets without feeling 
you know, the movement like I'm used to, the more worrisome it may, I get because there's like four reasons that you should call the doctor and this is considered one of those four reasons. So I'm waiting for the on-call doctor to call me back. I look so ridiculous, I can't take myself seriously right now. So, so I called, I called the on-call line and my doctor actually called me back and she said that if I wanted to go in to labor and delivery to have her checked, that I could. So when I got off the phone, I, I told Nick and Nick said he brought me this Gatorade to drink and told me to drink the whole thing and lay here and like count movements and just see. And she did move, um, like, she didn't move a ton, but she did move after I drank the Gatorade and I counted like probably at least 10 movements. So um, I know that she's okay because she's moving around. It's just less movement, probably because she has less room. And I did check her heart rate on the Doppler and her heart rate sounds perfectly normal. Although I do want to note, I was just doing some research on my phone and I read that the heart rate doesn't technically tell you that everything's okay because the heart rate is the last thing to change when a baby is in distress. So just so you know, don't always count on the heart rate to tell you what's going on. Nick is eating my chicken salad with my pita chips in bed. He brought them in here to eat in front of me so that I would say that it's okay. He goes, look what I brought you to eat. I'm not even hungry and he brought them for me to eat. But Such as, no. Yet he's just eating them in front of me with the whole family here. I brought them for you. He's like, goes out to like fancy lunches with clients all the time and I am here at the house eating. So like this is something that I would normally eat as a snack or like lunch or something. But I won't be able to because this one is eating it all. It's too late to eat dinner. I am gonna try something. Yeah, that'd be fun. Okay. When, uh, so when are, you, when are you gonna come down, Mom, this weekend? Oh, <laughs> yeah. be good. This chocolate melted over strawberries with um, cracked up graham cracker crumbs on top. That would be good. So your mom's coming Friday now? Yep. She loves shrimp. She loves shrimp. I don't know like how good shrimp is for dogs. I think they can have it, but I don't know if it's... How's that corn there? Oh my god, Nick, are you kidding? <laughs> That's how Iowa people eat corn. No. I couldn't handle having the blankets on the couches anymore. I had to take take the freaking blankets off. It looked so bad. Yeah. It looked really ratchet. It looked like Roseanne's couch. <laughs> it was Roseanne. Huh? It was Roseanne. Didn't you ever watch Roseanne back in the day? No. Remember they had that nasty looking quilt over the It looks way couch? better That's though. That's what ours looks like. if you scratch that couch, and I'll lock you outside for the rest of the night. She has her kitty caps on. Yeah, tell that to the chair you're sitting in. Duchess. Duchy. Tomorrow we will have six days left until Skyla's due date and I'm getting really excited about it. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments if you went to labor and delivery for any reason before you actually were in labor. I would like to know. I think that it's interesting. Good night guys. See you tomorrow.